Monday, August 8th. This is a 14-day visual map of the sun and the sunspot activity. And you can see where it's starting to really begin to build. And in this frame, I've really expanded it out. So we have really been in a, a rather low active period of time. In fact, in many cases, in July, um, there was a 10-day stretch there where there was no sunspot activity at all. So you, we can see here that this could be um, something that we need to pay attention to. And we can see that in the sunspots coming over from the eastern limb that looks like they have some magnetism. And there's other great people like Ben Davidson, who is far better and much more an expert on this. However, it does not mean that any of us should not be aware and understand just how much our sun affects Earth's weather. And particularly understanding uh, magnetism, how the Earth and sun are connected by magnetic lines. And I thought what I would do tonight is spend a little time and show you some tools that you can use that you can become aware and monitor, particularly when we have this kind of activity. It needs to be watched. It's been a long time since we've had any X-ray class uh, flares. And this could be one of those situations here in the next uh, 9 to 10 days that that very well could happen. So let's take a look at some tools. This is the Integrated Space Weather Analysis System. This is a tremendous tool. And once you begin to understand and realize uh, what is really available here to the average person, that you will be, again, <laughs> the smartest person on the block, uh, and it's true. So let's take a look at some of the tools that you can actually use. So you can see we have the solar, the heliosphere, the magnetosphere, the ionosphere, and the planetary. So let's go over and take a look. This is the magnetosphere. And there's some great, great tools here. I just took a couple down. And so let me pull up this one. And you can actually see for yourself what you can actually do. So I pulled this one up. This is the Earth's magnetic shield. And you can see that it's holding up very nicely. Um, I'll actually run the animation for you. So you can actually see for yourself. You can see exactly the um, magnetic uh, disturbances. Is that pretty cool? Now, we can also tell when there's some perturbations to uh, the magnetosphere that can really um, make for a rough time for us down here. This is a great map. I have found this to be... Hmm when they're not messing with the data. <laughs> and we have found them uh, actually to go back and to remove um, data frames. And I know that brings up a lot of controversy. I really don't care about that. I know for a fact. So let's explain what this is showing us. This is the solar wind coming right off of our sun. And this is the way it should look. This is the way it should. It's just reacting right to our magnetic shield. Uh, nothing unusual about seeing anything like this. Now, I have seen, and it's only been once, where these arrows were going the other way. That was a good mystery. But again, this is a great tool. It really lets you know what the Earth's... Um, magnetic shield is incurring and it lets us see the solar wind. 
In this chart, we actually get to see how the magnetic lines of the Earth connect with the rest of the solar system and actually space itself. And it's just very cool when you begin to see uh, what the Earth generates as far as its own magnetic field is concerned, how that interacts with the rest of the solar system, the other planets, our sun, uh, even beyond that. Um, this is a little weird, but um, there are others that can give you better interpretations. I'm still learning this, and so for me to make a comment would be probably, um, well, presumptuous on my part. I just wanted to show this to you so you can understand. I do know some of the basics of understanding. And all of these lines, by the way, these are magnetic connecting lines. The universe, folks, is electric. And that's the thing that I have learned. And once you begin to understand that principle, that the universe is electric, you begin to realize that our sun and our planet are magnetically connected. Our moon, our earth is magnetically connected. The planets are magnetically connected. Our solar system is magnetically connected to our galaxy. Our galaxy is magnetically connected to the universe. It's, it's all right there. So uh, a great tool for you to use. And um, you can actually begin to tell when there is a disturbance in the magnetic uh, field. This chart's pretty cool. It actually shows the radiation belt around the Earth and shows that when it's uh, under intense impact, whether it be from the sun or who knows what else. And I'll just run it for the animation for you. So you can really see that the Earth is really a living organism. Uh, it has auto defense systems. It has um, the ability that when it's under... Uh, heavy bombardment, uh, and particularly now with our magnetosphere as weak as it is, and it's very weak, you can see that it reacts like any other living organism. Um, it's weak and it shows it. And by the way, it doesn't do us too well for us of who is living underneath it. So I will leave you the link to this website. It is just fabulous. There is so much that you can do here. Just, you know, when you think about what's available to us now in the last 10 years, it is just incredible. The amount of data information that I can tell you that in even in the 90s um, was unthinkable. We were still trying to figure all of this out. Um, and here's our real-time map. Shows you the probability of the prediction um, again, these are all great tools to have. Um, and you can see how it works. So what I'm just trying to give you here is uh, just more weapons that you, not weapons, you know, basically a nice full tool chest. And it just goes on and on. We could spend another 10 minutes on this, but... Um, Once you begin to incorporate this, you can really begin to see how electrically charged our world and our universe is at. So how does this all impact the jet stream? Well, everything's connected. And you can really see, remember that storm we've been watching? The only thing I can actually related to is a storm. It's a low pressure area. Just continues to intensify. Great thing about this is that we're now establishing our own database to go back and begin to make comparisons to. Again, we're all learning together on this. Someone asked me to define what does north-south mean. 
And again, for full disclosure, I am not a meteorologist. This is my interpretation, and I've learned these things from reading. And I started when Dr. Uh, Paul Beckwith uh, sent out the alarm that the jet stream had fractured and that there were north-south interaction, which should not happen because of the simple fact that there is a natural barrier between the equator, and the Tropic of Cancer, and the Tropic of Capricorn. This air of layer, uh, air that rises up above the 250 millibar level of our atmosphere is dense and moist, providing a natural barrier between north and south. What has happened, and we have seen this happening with more frequency, is that we're seeing areas like this, and I know it's controversial, is this normal or is this not? Well, I don't know. You know, you could say, is this an actual north-south? Well, I think it is. Uh, we're coming now uh, to the peak of the monsoon season, so the um, intertropical convergence zone will begin to transfer the seasons. And so when I see things like this right off the coast here, we've watched this one. I mean, there, there's constant interaction. So that means that the air currents are mixing. Now, I happen to be of the camp that I think that this is not normal. Others would say that uh, there's nothing unusual. I usually find those who are the first ones who say that there's nothing to see here, move along, are the very first ones that I always have to go, now wait a minute, and I will quote Shakespeare, I think if thou protestest too much. So, yeah, do I think that there's something happening? I do. And I think that it is impacting uh, weather across uh, the world. And I think it's going to become much more turbulent. So hopefully this was a um, helpful on the tools. I will leave the links and you keep safe.